So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Behold the savage garden, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there.
You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. Our clan sacked your city of Kavach. A trifling task fit for scamps. Your swift retribution earned you much respect among my people. We had not expected that a mortal would act with such resolution and honor. It is no dishonor for us to speak. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Kanona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle? Or offer me service? An intriguing choice. And I have a task in mind that will test your wit and your loyalty. The rabble of the Savage Garden have imprisoned the Zivili Anaxes. I consider his humiliation a fitting punishment. However, his shame attaches to me, and though the matter is too small for my attention, it is not too small for one of my servants. Free Zephali Anaxes, and I shall reward you with the key to the Forbidden Grotto, the Pans of the Chosen. Menka Cameron's chattels, the unmortals that swarm here in the Savage Garden, their proper role is to test themselves in unceasing combat. But, being no true immortals, they are without honor or courage and shy from battle. However, by some trick, they trapped one of my agents, the Zivili Anaxes, in a cave. They show initiative, and Anaxes doubtless deserves humiliation. But I cannot permit this to continue. Do me this service of freeing Anaxes, and I will reward you with the bands of the Chosen and passage to the Forbidden Grotto. Menkar Cameron's chattels trapped the Zivili Anaxes in a cave. He is their lord, and thus they mock him and me. Free Anaxes, and restore order to the Garden, and you shall have the bands of the Chosen. At Mankar Cameron's command, a favored few are given the bands of the Chosen and may leave the Savage Garden. You cannot pass through the door to the Forbidden Grotto unless you wear the bands. The one path from the Savage Garden is through the Forbidden Grotto. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen are allowed to leave the Garden.
you. How can you be here? No matter. You are too late to stop Lord Dagon's victory. Soon we will return to Tamriel to rule over it as lords. While you will remain here in the Eternal Garden forever. Those favored by the Master to wear the bands may enter the Forbidden Grotto and leave this savage garden forever. The Forbidden Grotto is the only way out of the Savage Garden. Those who earn the Master's favor are given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to leave the Garden. We have all died in the Master's service. Here in Gaia Alata, we are immortal and wait to return to Tamriel after Lord Dagon's final victory. The Master will soon Are you here to end this nightmare and free us all from the Savage Garden? Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the Grotto ever returns. The only way out of... Only those wearing the bands... Everyone here died in the Master's service. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the Garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn and the cycle begins again. No one has yet found a way to leave the Garden, except those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. Leave me in peace. Patience, mortal. You are in my service. I expect my orders to be carried out.
complete, so you found your way to Gaiar Alata at last. Don't we have enough troubles here without you adding to them? Leave us alone. Your quarrel is with Mankar Cameron, not us poor fools. Gaiar Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Cameron's palace, Karaka Gaialor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. He's trapped at the back of the cave. It took us weeks to prepare the trap, and he killed us many times before we finally succeeded. The lesser creatures of the Eternal Garden still torment us, but Anaxus was the worst. He toyed with us, prolonging our deaths for his pleasure. You must not release him, for pity's sake. Leave me in peace. What news from Tamu? I hear the war is going badly. There's some new arrivals here that were caught in the fall of the Great Gate. It won't matter. Lord Dagon will soon be able to cross over. The Master's plan will have succeeded. Stop! Don't let Anaxes out! No! Get away from there! If I can just... What do you want, mortal? Leave me in peace. is free. Order is restored to the Savage Garden. You have served me well. In return for your service, I will give you the key to the Forbidden Grotto, if you still wish it. Take these pans of the Chosen, then. Wear them. Or you cannot enter the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Eternal Garden. Honor 
and pride bids me tell you. None can escape the Forbidden Grotto. There, you will be the charge of my kinsmen, or they... How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The Principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The Cold Harbor of Meridia, Periite's Quagmire, the Ten Moon Shadows of Mephala and... and Dawn's Beauty, the Princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamria, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamria. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamrielai Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? 
Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. What's going on here? Who's this? A prisoner, sent in by... Prisoner, get in the cage. Ah! 